Begin tonight at 6 with the big job news coming out of Genesee County, a company based in England has announced plans to open a factory which it hopes will eventually employ 600 workers. Good evening everyone. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. It will be located in an area of long hoped for development in what is referred to as the Western New York Service and Technology Advanced Manufacturing Park or STAMP off Route 77 in the town of Alabama. We hear more from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. You know, it's, 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 it's been a long road. Alabama Town Supervisor Rob Crossan talking about STAMP, the sprawling 1,200-acre site planned as an industrial park, but which after 10 years and tens of millions of taxpayer dollars spent, had failed to attract a single tenant, and which to this day produces more corn and soybeans than anything else. They've had some growing pains. The growing season, you might say, has gone on longer than they'd hoped, but now they're figuring the seeds that were sown here years ago are finally coming to a point where we're beginning to see a harvest. Plug Power was first to put their stamp on stamp, plugging away at a hydrogen plant they hope to open next year. And now up the road a piece where the recently planted winter wheat approaches the cornfield now being harvested, word that the Edwards Company will build a facility about the size of a Walmart supercenter to make dry vacuum pumps to support the semiconductor industry. It's across from where an electrical substation is being built to service what is hoped to be more industries to come now that other key Key infrastructure has been installed. We have wastewater uh, figured out and uh, supply of water coming in. This line was put in last year. Plug Power got $270 million in tax breaks and power discounts in exchange for just 60 jobs, according to our news partners at Investigative Post. Edwards will get $21 million from the state in hopes of having the first phase of their plant open in two years and the eventual employment of 600 workers here in five years. We're pleased. It's, a, it's, the first, you know, it's a middle step of many steps, and uh, it's good to know that it's on a path to, to ultimately uh, utilizing the park for what it's now intended to be. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.